Okay, so if you haven't been keeping up with the whole drama with my 1355i, long story short, there's been a lot of problems, small problems, big problems, they're problems. It's a brand new car, I've had problems, but I was willing to give BMW the opportunity to uh, sort these problems. Long story short, they didn't take the opportunity at all. In fact, they would the same be like stonewalled me or something. They essentially pushed me to the back of the queue, gave me little to no communication, made me feel not worthless. I know that's a bit of a reach, but I think some of you understand what I mean. Like, I was made to feel... I, I can't think of any other words. The waiting time to get the car fixed was longer than the time I actually had the car at the time I booked it in. So after all the comments from you, you guys, again, thank you for all the help and support combined with the way I was feeling about the customer service and the car, I have decided to hand it back. So today, we're going to be talking about a, um, a response I finally got. Now, this has been two weeks or so, and I got a response the, the other day, um, which is ridiculous, which we'll be going into. And half an hour ago, I got an email regarding the original complaint I made. It's just all so backwards, like there's no communication in the business at all. I understand... I'm not the biggest fish to fry, I understand there's bigger issues, I understand everything. But come on, every single step, like I said in the previous one, I'm happy to give the benefit of the doubt as much as I possibly can. But how long does this have to go on for? That's what we're going to be going into today. If you haven't seen the other ones, go check them out. If you do like this one, like and subscribe. I just, I just want to click, clear up a few bits which I've been getting like asked in the in the comments. I'm not doing this for clicks or for views. Believe me, this is far from convenient for me. I've bought a brand new car. I'm not happy with it. As I said, the customer service and the car itself. I gave them an opportunity to fix it. They showed no interest in it interest in taking the, the, the opportunity so we are now going to have to hand the car back i'm showing all you guys the process because this is ridiculous like i don't know if their intention is to drag it out for so long which i back out of it or i don't know but yeah this is not for attention this is not for clicks or views this is literally me having a small voice i'm showing it on the channel because the way i feel i'm being treated is not even remotely fair so i finally got a response from um the um the, the team at BMW, essentially the team we were waiting for a response on. And when I say I got a response from them, I had to phone them. So not only did I have to email them twice, as well as getting in contact with them. Like, we've been through it a hundred times. You can hear how tired and exhausted I am. Just thinking about the whole thing. It's just, it's been dragged out for so long now. But yeah, I've, I had to phone them for like a second or third time after my two emails with no response. And then I eventually, we managed to fill out a form. We got it all through. The lady on the phone was lovely. I've got to give credit where it's due. She was amazing. I then got a response within like a day or two of them essentially long story short saying it can take up to eight weeks for a response. Now, keep in mind, that's about the time I've had the car now. Obviously, all this started within the first month, and I think we're now approaching like the third month. I, I again, I understand it's a big business. There's a lot going on. I completely understand that, but eight up to eight weeks is insane. There's a lot of factors which go into it, which I'm going to be talking about. We've got the car payments, which I still haven't said if I'm going to get them back or not, and I'm not prepared to pay car payments on a car which I've already said I'm handing back. There's car insurance, which I guess for them isn't really an issue, but I don't want to be paying car insurance on a car I'm going to be handing back. And then the third issue is mileage. Obviously, if it gets to a certain point, I think the way it works, again, they haven't told me anything, but I think all they've told me is it can take up to eight weeks. But I think the way it works is if my mileage is a certain amount compared to the finance, then they'll have to charge me per mile, which I completely understand. I completely get. I agree with but not this. Now, again, I'm speaking somewhat like in like a speculation because they haven't clear, cleared it up with me at all. I don't, don't know the ins and outs of my own case, but I won't get into that t today. Long story short, when I phoned up, the mileage was just over 3,000. Um, it's now on 3,300. Now, obviously, that's another, say, 200 to 300 on top of what I've phoned up on. And by the time this gets resolved, 
I've got a trip coming up at the end of this week. I've got to drive to and from work. It's going to be near 4,000 4, miles. If they even consider, again, I'm just speaking in, in like a speculation, but if they are going to charge me for the mileage, which I understand, it has to be from the 3,000. And even that, in my opinion, is a joke. Because I started all this when the car was on about... I think I first went in there with my problems when the car was on 700. It's now on 3,000. It may be on 4,000. I should be charged from 700, which means I won't have a charge. But obviously, I've had to use the car every day because the technician told me some of the problems will go over time the more I use the car. So I've been having to use the car more but that won't have any legs but i know for a fact i was told that i just my fear is every single step of this has been complicated it's been long it's been drawn out and i don't think it's going to stop now it's been the biggest headache i've ever faced it was meant to be a stress-free car i've said that before my intention was not to hand the car back my intention was to keep it be proud of it grow my properties and my plate business and all that other stuff but this has just been such a big headache. I don't want the car a a a anymore. And now I've got to wait up to eight weeks to get a response. And then they're going to figure out how much I'm charged. All that. I don't even know where to start. Now, there is a second part to this. As I said, I got an email half an hour ago from the customer service team to my initial email saying, Hi, Tom. Sorry to hear that. We will look into this case for you. It's been one and a half weeks since the email they resp responded to. One and a half weeks, and now they're looking into it. So I simply responded. I'm not doing all this like long uh, professional emails anymore because it, it clearly doesn't work. I responded to them. I said, thanks for the response. Sadly, j let me bring up my exact email. It was something along the lines of, and I will tell you now, it's not along the lines of at all. My email was, good afternoon. Sadly, due to no response from yourselves or BMW as a company, I have started the process to reject the car. Thanks, Tom. I've tried, you know. I my I started off all, all, all this just trying to get an, an answer. I then re realized I was never going to get the answer. And if it's starting off like this, it's only going to get worse the, the, the more I have the car. There's been quite a few more problems since the last video as well. One of which being the uh, wastegate now rattles. I got another one the other day, but I've forgotten it. Let's see if I made a note of it. Of course I did. Up here in the door, there's now a tapping noise as well. I understand these are all small things, but when your list is this long, yeah, it's suddenly not small things on a brand new car. Again, I gave them the opportunity, but they didn't take it. And I don't want to keep going around in circles. This is essentially an update. I finally got a response from them, but it is as useless as ever. I've got one person saying, all right, we'll have a look which is like the old thing. And then I've got the other team saying it could take up to eight weeks, which is two months, which is insurance coming out of my pocket, car finance coming out of my pocket, fuel, tax, all that kind of stuff on a car I don't want to keep. I'm not keeping. Again, I haven't done this for financial gain. I haven't done this for anything of the sort. But at the end of the day, finances in everyone's life are a big thing. I don't want to throw the money away just for the sake of it. I've done that enough with the other 20 cars I've had. This car was meant to be me trying to save and be smart, and it's gone completely wrong. We will we will see if if and when I get an answer. Um, again, thank you for all the support. I appreciate all the comments, all the advice, everything. Um, I'm sure it's making some good content for you to watch and keep up on. It's not very good to be a part, a part of, but it's life. Hopefully, we will prevail and just stay consistent. Hopefully, you have enjoyed leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you again hopefully it's more posi positive news but i doubt it but yeah cheers